G'day guys, it's Jesse here from Tent Lawns Online Team and today I'm here to talk to you a little bit about some self-care tips for your self-inflating mat. One of the most commonly asked questions we get when it comes to your self-inflating mat is how long do they last? And that, as the case with many things, depends entirely on exactly how well you look after it. Whilst all of our mats come with their own warranties, there are some things you can do to extend the life of your self-inflating mat. So the team and I here at Tent Lord have come up with three hot tips for things you can do to extend the life of your self-inflating mat. The first thing to remember when you get your self-inflating mat out of its box for the very first time is it's going to be a bit stiff from being on the shelves for a while. This means that when you're inflating it for the first time and for the first few times, it's going to take a while to inflate. But there is something you can do to counteract this, and that is to leave your mat out in the sun, rolled out flat, so the sun's heat can warm up the materials, the foam, the plastic, making it easier for the mat to self-inflate. In short, this decreases the time it takes for your self-inflating mat to inflate itself. Our second tip has to do with when you take your self-inflating mat camping for the very first time. When you're out in the great outdoors with friends, family and loved ones, the last thing you want to do at the end of a long, tiring but rewarding day out is come home and wait for your self-inflating mat to set itself up. We know how painstaking this can be and that is why we recommend making setting up your self-inflating mat one of the first things on the to-do list when you go camping. This means at the end of the day you can dive right into your cozy mattress without needing to wait for itself to set it up. The third and final tip we have when it comes to your self-inflating mat is to store it with air inside of it with the valve open. This means that the foam and the materials become accustomed to being set up, meaning it will set up quicker next time you go to inflate. Some examples of storage places where you can keep your self-inflating mat include under your bed, in a cupboard, or behind a cupboard. Really anywhere it will safely fit. Alrighty guys, that's all the tips we have for your self-inflating mats today. If you ever run into any trouble or have any further questions, feel free to give us a call, drop in store, or pop us a line. We'll always be happy to help you out. And as always, stay safe and happy camping.